Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. Walk down town centre, which appears to be indoors. What the hell? Sadly, not allowed in. <sighs> it's all bad news. They've got a McDonald's, which is outside, which is good. And they've also got, as well, a KFC, which is also outside, which is good. So you don't have to be inside all the time. This is Pembroke Market Hall, which is now open. <laughs> Sadly, it's not. It's closed at the moment. A lot of places have universities for education, especially when people are a bit thick, so they can stay in school until they're in the twenties. Here though, everywhere you look, there's something that reminds you about things that you need to know, like your ABC, for example. The Bull's Head Hotel. There's a sign outside of it saying, no right turn ahead except buses, a uh, set of traffic lights. But my question is, why are buses so important to allow to turn right where cars can't? Buses are bigger, they've got to make up more of a traffic jam by turning right. Maybe buses should be exempt from turning right and everyone else can. This is called Hug in a Mug. But you can't hug at the moment, not till tomorrow anyway. At time of recording, obviously. So um, it's had to be closed for the time being. This is a Barbara's. Is that any Barbara's? It's a proper Barbara's here in Walkden. Put your ticket now. They have a heritage trail, which is nice. The only problem is if you're a midget like me, you can't see it. It's too high up. Mad. I can't see it, I can't see it. Oh. Check the date, time of recording, etc. You're not allowed to eat inside or drink inside until tomorrow. They're breaking the law, but I don't care, because I'm not a policeman. Them, them there. Mm. Communication's still strong here though. They have got the internet here, but they still have the backup of a post box, which is nice. You need one of them. Probably, I can't remember last time I used one, I'll be honest, but anyway. Named after the famous canal, Leeds, Liverpool. This one's easy to get to. I wouldn't want to live in Worsley because you want to go to the leisure centre, you've got to come here to Walkden. That's mad. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, he's on a railway bridge. He's on a railway bridge, definitely on a railway bridge. I'm not on a railway bridge at all. I'm on a footpath or bridge under the bridge, but I'm, I'm on a footpath on the bridge that goes over a footpath under the bridge. That's what I meant. It's not a railway bridge anyway. You know what? I'm really hungry. I'm on this street and I'm really hungry. Where could I find somewhere to eat? Oh, I don't know. Must be so oh, what's that? Oh, street food. That's good. Oh, it's closed at the moment. It's just a railway bridge, but there's nothing pretty around here. Railways are important to people in Walkden. Well, some of them anyway. Why are people thinking it's fashionable now to paint the houses grey on the outside? It looks like you've uh, you forgot to buy the colour paint. It says the guy who's just painted his entire house white, grey and black. But that's inside, not outside. You know me, I love a clever name for something. So it's about a hairdresser that's called Barnets, because that's what your head is, it's your Barnet, it's Barnet's hairdresser. It does exactly what it says on the lid, or the sign in this case. One thing you have to love about uh, Wharton is the sky. It's very dramatic, it's like this every day here. What do you do when you've bought too much slate for your house? You put it on the wall at the side so you know where it is if you need it. All these houses have got the same um, gateway things on them. All right, so. But the houses themselves, well, they're, they're completely different. But the gates are all the same. I think a salesman come around one day and did a very good job around here. No, it's not gone dark. I'm just under some trees. It makes it look like it's gone dark. I'm in a park, which rhymes with dark. It's a dark park here in Walkden, which doesn't rhyme with park or dark, I'll be honest with you. But I'm just trying to make this last a bit longer so I can show you the first roundabout ever installed in Walkden was actually in the park. What's the point of a roundabout in a park? God's sake, dark park with a roundabout in the dark, in a park. There's no lights either, it's like many parks. This has got a bandstand, but it's tiny. That's because the only band here in Walkden is a one-man band. So that's big enough. 
they don't have picnic tables in Warner because at the time of recording you're not really allowed to go out for a picnic although technically you are but they've converted the picnic tables to stand up bar stool tables which is nice so you can stand up like you're in a bar but you're not you're in a park it's a dark park but it's a park and here I am in another part of the dark park here in Walton which is dark it's very well populated I'm just doing very well not showing you anyone I'll tell you what if you can get your dog to read and then shit through that all you're a better man than me I seem to be inadvertently following the Walkden Heritage Trail, which is not my doing, I must admit. It's not deliberate, it just seems to be coincidental. Bear in mind I've never been here before. But anyway, this is number four. This is another railway bridge with a footpath going under it, so I'm on a path on a bridge going over a path. However, I'm going to be on a path going under a bridge that's got a railway line on it soon. I can't wait, I'm so excited. It's almost a phallic object, nice try. I said before, if you wanted to go to the um, centre for excellence of exercise, you have to come here. But look, the Ellesmere, it's a pub called the Ellesmere, and we're in Walkden. What's the point of having a pub called the Ellesmere when you're in Walkden? It makes no sense. Here, we see that the Romanians used to be here back in the past, and they're currently doing an archeological dig here to discover how the Romanians built Walkden back in the day. As you can see, you used concrete and spikes by the looks of it. If you're wondering what Rachel Riley's partner's up to now he's left Strictly Come Dancing on Ice, he's opened his own barbers. That's nice. The bridge here is a bridge that the railway line goes over. And I know it's a railway line bridge because there's a railway station there. Although well, you can't see it. There it is. It's Walkden Railway Station, but it's not got one bridge. It's got two bridges. It's got a bridge there and a bridge there. Technically three because that's one bridge, two bridge, three bridge. It's the three bridge railway station of Walkden. This impressive building behind me used to be something impressive and used to something impressive. Now, I don't know what it's used for. As you know, I like churches, even though I'm not religious. But this one is a Methodist chapel and they've not got a high opinion of themselves. I know it's very simple, but I wouldn't necessarily say it was a primitive Methodist church. Guild Avenue has a sense of humour. They've got a sign here, it's a cul-de-sac and it says Permanent holders only parking past this point, as you can see, just. Right, at this point is where the double yellow lines end. So if you're not a permanent holder, you're not welcome. You can't go to that building, whatever that is. Clever name for an estate agent. Pick my pad, but I'd rather pick my own, thank you very much. And I certainly wouldn't want to pick someone's scab. But it's, yeah. If you want to buy a bike, buy a bike. But a motorbike, you have to come here to Manchester Motorbike Centre. Sadly, it's closed at the moment. Halo, health and beauty. Um, I know someone's currently wearing a halo, and I don't think you could do the hair, and they're certainly not beautiful. So, mm, maybe rethink the name. Unless you're like Master Chief, obviously. More education stuff. They're trying to avoid having a university here. This place, you can hire people to uh, educate your kids. Isn't that what schools are for? Have I missed one out? Is that a six or an eight? It's a six. It started raining. So we're here at the Lady Harriet Monument and there's all pictures of old people and the thing. Where was number five then? Oh, near Walton Station. Yeah, we missed that one. And it started to persistently rain now, which is never a good thing, especially when you dress like me. This monument was erected, but they didn't put a statue of the person who it was. They just put a big pillar in the middle of it. So maybe she was a pillar of the community. The church is absolutely amazing, to be fair. It's got the tower off center, and you walk in through the bit that's normally the end bit, and that bit's used at the other end. And it's got a tower, one the tower, which is like a phallic tower on the tower. So it's a very nice church, if you like churches, which I do, even though I'm an anti atheist. Handily, when they bury people, they just bury them along the wall, which leaves all this space here perfect for playing football on and stuff like that. It's starting to hail. It's a bit, bit cold. But it does give us a chance to see Brookside Close, which was where they filmed Coronation Street years ago. This <laughs> weather's getting a bit ridiculous now. Uh, but we're here at this side of the church, which is the back side of the church, which doesn't have a door in it. And there you see the bit where the tower is, which is kind of, it looks not even in alignment with the rest of the building. 
But it's a very nice church. I do love this church a lot. Here we see the clock tower. The clock tower's here. Look. It's got another door there, which is a better door than the other door. And it's still fucking early. It's actually hurting my arms, I'll be honest. I'm doing this for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. I do like it when people make an effort to put a disabled ramp in so that people with disabilities can get into buildings too easy. But don't take the mickey and block the door off when you've done it. So we're going to come somewhere that's got heritage trail, which I kind of followed accidentally. Um, and as a pub, the people sat outside who jeer you because you are wet through. Um, and then you take your hat off and uh, kind of bow to them. Um, and they've got a KFC. They've got an indoor shopping centre. They won't let you in, apparently, because it was closed. Do a lot worse to come to walk them. It's been lovely, apart from the keen weather. But what can you do? Wouldn't mind, but that dark cloud's gone. This is a light cloud. Dark cloud's all the way over there now. So, uh, yeah, until next time. Bye! Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. It's not even a white t-shirt, I'm that wet. I did forecast rain, I'll be, I'll be honest with you, but you know. What then, eh? Oh, <laughs> why not? I'll tell you what. As you know, I like Methodist. Where is it? There it is. Here we can see the clock tower, which has got clocks on it, and it's... So we're going to suck with them.